Put Wait, no. Put the camera. Yeah. Oh, okay. before someone gets live. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Amir's Hot Spot. So today for you guys, I'm cooking the taco bake. And today I just wanted to cook something really simple and easy because we're on a tight schedule and we also have school in the morning and Amir needs her beauty rest. So today is just going to be a quick, easy meal. This meal shouldn't take more, no more than 45 minutes to an hour. But since I have already had everything preheated and pre-started, everything should go by smooth. So let's get this started. So first, I'm going to add my meat into the pan. And we're going to get that going. Ooh. Okay, flying out of there. But hey everybody, how you guys are doing? Hope you all are doing fine, I hope. And welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Now guys, as you all know, Monday we started school. And like I said, <laughs> I'm a freshman in high school. I attend Carver High. Go Rams. And um my first day of high school was Nothing, nothing like I expected. Um, I had a, I had a total meltdown. Like it was, <laughs> it was terrible. I can't believe I did that. I even cried. I cried. Don't laugh. I cried, and <laughs> it was, it was crazy. I was lost. Oh my goodness! I couldn't find none of my classes. Then I had to walk to like, like all my classes are like so far apart and you only got like eight minutes to travel it's it's just it's so crazy like your first day of high school should be something amazing and memorable and mine was just i mean it was memorable but it, it was quite terrible i hated it i did not know where to go after school it was like everything was just like really like kind of all off track like it was it was yeah, it was something else. So, but I'm not really gonna get too much into that. Um, how were you? How was your guys first day in high school? I mean, for everybody, even the freshmen, the seniors, just like everybody. Period. How were y'all first day in school? And um, I seen you guys. I was scrolling down Facebook, and Facebook did look like the BET Awards. Everybody was dressed to the nines. So Val Moore said that's normal for the first day. It will get better. Thank you. I'm I'm hoping and wishing for better days. But no, I can't I can't honestly say that I'm hoping and wishing because these last past two days, besides Monday, they have been very good. They've been fine. I still struggled a little bit getting to my classes. But I mean other than that, everything's fine. I'm making friends, creating new bonds, um, learning new things. You know, I'm just I'm just enjoying it. What I'm really ready for and I can't wait for it to kick off is football season. That's one of my favorite sports, and I'm just really waiting for that to go ahead and kick off because I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be so live. Also, I think I don't know if everybody's attended, but we do play Carver, not Carver. Oh, goodness, not Carver. We play Parker. I'm not sure if the game is still going, but we do play Parker Saturday. I'm not sure if everybody's attending, but I know I'm attending because I know this is going, it's going jump. So y'all need to make sure y'all be there. But what else? But um. So, I'd like to welcome everybody. I want to know where you guys are from. How, are you, how was you guys' day? What's been going on? There we have a new follower. Have a new follower? Had a new follower? What's her name? Elise or Alice Monique. She said, hey girl, I'm new. It looks delicious. Thank you, thank you. So now I'm just going to get these seasonings. Just going to get these seasonings added in here. And again, um, I'm back at y'all with the... 50,000 seasonings. But like I said before, I'm just a person that's heavy on seasoning. So, so this is what I have here again. And I um, I sometimes find myself using the same seasonings for everything. But I mean, as long as the food tastes good, right? So this here are oregano. This is oregano. And 
and then this here is basil and like I said before in the last video oregano and basil adds what did my auntie say like an earthy taste I don't, I don't know what she meant by that but I mean it's a uh, I really can't I really can't like fully describe it but it's like a it's a, it's a pretty good dust so it's a pretty good taste the food tastes good this here is some taco seasoning you know you can't forget the taco seasoning which me I never add a lot of taco seasoning because I feel like taco seasoning it doesn't it's not enough seasoning I just think it gives it the color and the like the the taco feel so I find myself sometimes using way too much and then it be over salted so I just use a smidge bit of taco seasoning but this here is sriracha and only reason that I'm adding the sriracha in is because I know I know that with this dish I'm using tortillas so with this dish if you have a lot of grease then the tortillas will soak up all that grease and it'll just be a terrible horrible horrible greasy mess so I think and the sriracha will fall into play with adding moisture because once you drain the grease off then it'll be pretty dry so that's why I'm adding sriracha and what I just added it was seasoning salt that was a little bit of cayenne pepper for a little spice and lastly we have last but not least my old bay so as that's done I'm going to go ahead and mix this up Luckily, it does not take hamburger meat no time to cook. Like, Seems like this this vibe may be sure that you will look. I think it might. But guys, I wanted to um I want to talk to you guys about the business thing again. A couple of you guys have texted me and you said that you wanted to start your own business and you wanted to know my path and how I got started and who was my help. My help was my lovely cousin and the audience back there. She helped me through um she helped me through everything. And I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that it's easy because it's not easy. It's it's very, very hard work and it takes a lot of dedication and you have to want it. Like you really, really have to want it. And if you don't want it, then there's no reason for really doing it. Because what did you saying? Time is money. Time is money, so if you really don't want it, then there's really no, there's really no need for, you know, for doing it. So, yes, but I will answer some of your questions about that. I'm sorry I haven't texted you guys back. Um, I've just been so big since we're getting started for school and everything that it's been a little hectic. But I will get back to you guys. Also, I also want to tell you guys again, I really, really, really want you guys like and share this video <laughs> and tag it at Amira's Hot Spot hashtag Amira's Hot I want to reach the goal of getting to 100 followers I'm sorry not 100 followers 100 viewers and 100 shares today Mira if we can make that happen that'd be great yeah yes. I have a question uh huh she said Alicia D. Johnson says I have a question mm -hmm. can you post your dish the day before so that we can cook along with you yes um so that will happen so we have this new upcoming segment called Mystery Dish. And on Mystery Dish, what I would do is whatever dish that I decide to cook that night, I will post three ingredients. And what you guys what you guys can do or you know would like to do is you can email us at amiraishotspot at gmail.com and tell us what dish you think we're going to cook with those three dishes. I mean with those three ingredients. And if you're right, then I will text you, you know, I will shoot you an email back and I will tell you. And then, from on from there, then you will know what the dish is. And this will happen, this won't happen every Wednesday. It'll be a mystery. It'll be a mystery. So you will just watch out for the mystery dish video, which will be coming to you guys very, very soon. So as you can see, ground beef produces so much grease. And seasonings have a lot of grease too. Like, it's not a... I want to say it's like a lot of seasonings to have like once you cook them they turn into oil and to me personally I think I should probably start using more fresh seasonings because they don't have as many preservatives and all other fattening. Huh? Huh? 
So does anybody want to join on here and tell me about your first day of school? I know mine was, it was okay, besides me crying, but if you want to join, comment down below and talk to me. So right now, this meat is just about done. And after that gets there, we're going to strain this grease off. And while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this pan over so I can begin to make my cheese sauce. So you guys see me make Alfredo sauce, but you never see me make cheese sauce. And I'm sure my cameraman can tell you it tastes pretty good. Yep, she it does. Was Licking it out the pan, so that was confirmation enough for me that it tasted. Alicia D. Amazing. Johnson said, "Why were you crying?" Cause I was terrified. I was really, really terrified. Like I don't know. It was like it was so many like different emotions going on at the time. Like I really didn't know how to feel, and I just you know I'm just like thinking, you know, this isn't middle school anymore. Like with middle school, when you got the big kids, and that's that's it, and it's big kids, and then the babies. But high school is the babies, and then it's all the seniors and upper cousins and it's just like it was just such a scary sight and it was just like overwhelming for me because i was i was probably really just overthinking it like i overthink stuff sometimes so i was probably really overthinking it but i mean since this since this week has been going by after my first day everything's been going fine i mean i'm good now get to my classes everything is going great that was just a little i want to say first high school was bad luck other than that, everything's going smooth. said, how do we know when the meat is completely cooked? Well, when you know when the meat is well, to me, I'm going to give you a great explanation, but to me, everything that I cook is like second nature to me. I just automatically know when it's done. I don't check the temperature. I don't taste it. I just, I just know. It's just second nature. But most of the time, when your meat is, when you know your meat has a little, it's a little when there's no more pink, of course, because you don't want to catch salmonella. But when your meat is completely brown, some people like their meat darker, some people like their meat lighter. I mean, it really all depends on how you like your meat. But if you're a person that doesn't do the medium rare and the raw, then when it's brown like this, then you know it's done. But I'm not completely done with it because I still have a few raw pieces in here and I don't want my family to get sick. So go finish cooking. And normally ground beef doesn't take long to cook either. It's a fast cooking, it's a fast cooking meat too. It's, I want to say it takes about, if you already have everything set up and... Mayor Sally, Sally is asking for mystery dish day. She said, are you going to post like salt, pepper, and garlic? And we supposed to guess what you're going to cook from those? No, I'm sorry. I should have been more specific. I'm going to post three main ingredients. So, like, say if I was to cook a full course meal like tilapia, corn, and rice, then I would post, I would give you something like rice. Or I would post a seasoning and say Old Bay and give you, a, like, a, a vegetable that I would add into making the tilapia like onion. And from there, you would have to get It's not going to be easy. It's not gonna be easy. You're gonna have to use your cooker's mind and figure out these ingredients. But I will, I will start to slack up on you guys and give you the main meat. And I think from the main meat you should be able to figure out. But yes, that's what happened. I'm sorry, I should have been a little bit more specific. Make sure you guys share. Yes, please make sure you guys like and share. <laughs> Tag us at Amira's Hot Spot. Hashtag Amira's Highest. So this meat is just about done here. I'm just gonna let that. I'm just gonna let that simmer and I'm gonna run to the fridge and get my milk. Okay. So you have I'm some West, some someone from West Lafayette. Where is West Lafayette? Yes, where is Lafayette? West, how is that at again now? West, West Lafayette. Lafayette. West Lafayette. Okay, where is that? It sounds like a very intriguing place. It really does. So where is, like, is it on the other side of the country? Is it, you know? <laughs> it sounds, it, I've never, 
heard of that before, though. That's something I've, they've never talked about in school. So now I'm adding, doing my cheese sauce, and because it's a taco, it's a taco bank, I decided to use the taco blend, which, of course, really, I couldn't find the taco blend, so this is the yes to blend. But really, to me, I think that it, it all just, it's really all in the same category. So just like I did for the Alfredo, but this time I use milk instead of whipped cream. You want to use whipped cream with Alfredo so it can have that thicker and richer consistency. But for the cheese sauce, you want it to be kind of, you don't want it to be too runny, but you want it to be, you want it to be runny. So I'm just adding that cheese in there. And like I said last time, I'm going to let it come to a boil. And once that comes to a boil, we're going to get that all stirred up and broken down. And I have already, I have already made out my pan here, which is going to, so really like how you do this, it's kind of like, what I would do is it's kind of like, I'm going to say kind of like a lasagna almost, but except for the lasagna noodles will be tortillas. So what you would do is you would lay your tortillas out. Personally, you don't have to use, this is optional, you don't have to use this size tortillas, it's really optional. But because I have a huge family that likes to eat, the bigger the better. So what you do is you just lay it out, then you would do your meat, your cheese, your sauce, repeat your meat, your cheese, your sauce, repeat. It's really, it's really good. Elise says it's in New Orleans. In New Orleans? Oh, wow. Ooh, go New Orleans. I really want to come to New Orleans. I, I'm here. I heard about Mardi Gras out there. I heard it's really, really fun. So now. Hey. Sally, how old are you? So now this um this cheese is breaking down, it's melting down, and I'm so as you can see, it is it's a blend of cheeses. Like I think it's I think in the total it's five cheese in here. I think it's mozzarella, sharp cheddar, mild cheddar. Um, I think pepper jack. It's a bunch of white, and no, the main part of this are the white cheese. I even think it was a little bit of, um, I think, I want to say ricotta. I'm not positively sure, so I don't want to give you guys false information. But I will look back at the pack. And also, 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 I should have mentioned this when we first came on. The ingredients for this meal was a pack of tortillas, which. It was this size. It was like the, you know, when you go and get the, like the huge burrito, like that. It's this size. I'm sorry, that's upside down. This size, the large burritos, and all of this is located at Walmart. Those burritos, <laughs> those, that size tortillas, the cheese. I use cheese and hamburger meat. And that's pretty much it. Wait, if you count the ingredients for the cheese sauce, which is milk, cheese, and cream cheese. And that's pretty much it. And it's, uh, I want to say probably like a $20 meal at the most. Yeah, it's really a $20 meal at the most. Especially if you have some of these items already in your refrigerator. Then, you know, then that, that falls into play perfectly. So I'm going to crank my heat up on this cheese sauce so we can really get this going. You have a question. Yes. Alicia asked, why is it important to stir the cheese like you're doing? Because if you don't. If you don't stir the cheese, then even though it's like a huge amount of milk inside of this pot, but because my heat is high, if you don't stir it, then it'll stick, and then it'll get this like it'll get to this real, real thick consistency, and it won't it'll be stiff. Like you know how grits get when they get cold, it'll be like that, and then it'll make it hard. It'll make it extremely hard to try to bring it back to life. So you want to always give as much as as much attention as possible once making cheese sauce and it's so easy it is really really easy to mess it up it really really is so you just have to really keep a great close eye on it oh and also let me give let me give some attention back to my meat here i don't want it to brown too much nor do i want it to burn because that is the main ingredient in this dish so we're going to turn this off and we're going to get this going to a strainer so we can drain all, drain all that grease off I don't know, you probably can't see it right now, but once I take, once I dump all this grease off, you'll see exactly what the sriracha sauce did. Alright, so let's get this 
over here and all drained off. And I'm shaking the pan like this and pouring it in there simply because I want my main focus is to get the grease off, but I don't want to lose seasoning. So like I normally do, what I normally would do is I would rinse it off to get most of the grease off. But in this particular case, if you rinse the grease off, then you lose, then you lose your seasoning. So just pour it into a strainer, shake it into the pan, then give it a great shake like this and as you can see all the grease is coming off at the bottom which is what you want because you don't want it to be greasy because the meat itself still has grease in it so with that being said with the grease with the meat still having grease in it is there's nothing but a hundred percent chance that it's still going to be a little grease on those tortillas unless you rinse it and that'll knock off all the flavor and i'm pretty sure no one wants any flavorless meat so that's pretty much it with the meat our meat's there that's done we're just gonna let that cool over here then we're gonna come back over here to this cheese sauce and give it some love and affection as you can see now it just came to a boil just gonna stir this up now i need to add more cheese in because now my cheese is completely melted down So now we're gonna add more cheese. But how you guys day been going? I haven't heard anybody tell me about their day. How was school? How was work? How was everyday life? How's everybody doing? All right, so that's the last of the cheese with cheese sauce. And I'm putting, I'm gonna put the cream cheese in last. And the reason I put that in last because it'll, It'll get to that. It'll make, it'll have the cheese sauce at that really amazing texture that I want. Ooh, slow that stir down. So as you can see right now, my cheese sauce is, is too runny. That's not what you want. You do not want it to be that runny. And you don't want it to overcook either because it can overcook and it can taste horrible. Like the cheese doesn't have to be burnt, but it'll taste like burnt cheese. So this is not the consistency that you want it at. So I'm going to turn this down to medium heat. And I'm going to let it, I'm just going to let it simmer. I'm just going to let it cook until it gets, until it gets to a great consistency. So now since we're doing that, we have a little chit chat time. So that's what the car is saying. Yeah, she say chit chat. So now we have a little chit chat time. So you guys, you know, I'm not going to make it all about me so you guys you know you just tell me some things you also come in some other dishes you want to see me cook some other things that you think i should do on the show that might be more appealing to you guys you can also ask me several questions i'm willing to answer any questions that you have also again i want to make sure that you guys like and share this video get us to 100 views and 100 shares that is our goal for tonight and also if you guys want to join feel free to join and again i want to announce if you're a teenager with your own business between the ages of 12 to 17 and you want to join my live and you want me to help you promote your business then you can simply come in below and request to join also you can shoot me an email at amir's hotspot at gmail <laughs> and we can make that happen so now we're gonna get back to this cheese sauce over here julia says she was super busy kids 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 everywhere I only like babies. I don't like kids. I mean, of course, I have nothing against the kids, you know. I'm a kid myself, but after two, I'm mean, after one. That's fine with me. Have another question. Yes. Do you bake also? Yes, you do bake this. Do the, you bake? Oh, do I bake? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I I do a little, a little, 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 little bit of dabbling. I'm waiting on my mom to finally teach me how to do the real deal good stuff, like doing everything from scratch. So I do a little bit of dabbling. In that. I mean, I've tried. I've tried a couple times to, you know, make some stuff from scratch. I'm not gonna tell you that it was the it was the absolute best, but um, 
It was it was pretty good. I think Mimi, I think you tasted something. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think you tasted something that I baked before. Did you? You remember when I made them cupcakes and they were paste cupcakes. <laughs> I, did, I just uh, did yeah, flour and water, and I baked them. I remember. But you know what? Them were some of the best cupcakes we ever ate in a long time. Yeah. And I sold them, and people bought them. That's what really threw me for a loop when I made paste cupcakes. Somebody said, do you cook Puerto Rican food? Puerto no, I've never cooked Puerto Rican food, but I would love to. I really like to um, stretch my ethnicity of foods. Like, I really want to try cooking Chinese foods. I want to try cooking... Puerto Rican foods, Jamaican foods. Like, I really want to stretch that out besides just cooking the regular, which normally what I cook is soul food and Mexican food and basic, like the like basic little average stuff. I mean, I cook, I've tried, if you count pasta, I guess pasta would count as an Italian food too. But yes, if you have some recipes, um, if you have some recipes for the Puerto Rican food that you would like to see me cook, then you can email me at amirshotspot at gmail.com or you can text me on Messenger and you also can comment the recipe down below. Shandon, do you want to join the live? Sounds so weird. Huh? So, now I'm going to add just a tad bit more cheese to this cheese sauce. And then after that, everything's going to fall into play if you can get to Stacking this up. Alrighty. Oh, I'm so heavy with the spoon. It's crazy. Alright, so as you can see now, this is, that is way better than the first time I showed you guys. The first time it was runny like water, and that is not what you want. Because it will, like I said, those tortillas are like a sponge. They absorb everything that hits it. And if that water mess would have touched your tortillas, it would have been like soggy, it would have been like soggy bread. Like it would have been horrible, horrible, horrible. So now we had a great consistency here. We got this going. So now I'm about to start layering it. And I think I, it's an eight pack of Those tortillas are pretty large. So my layers might be a tad bit thicker, which is, you know, it's fine. The bigger the better. So What's on the menu? We are, today we are making the taco bake. Something quick, simple, easy, tasty, and fun. A very interesting dish. I don't know if you guys ever heard of a taco bake, but if you haven't, you heard it here first at Amira's Hot Spot. Here first, you heard it here first. So whenever you guys make this, if you see it anywhere else, they just came out with it because this is my creation. <laughs> I'm claiming it now. So now I'm going to move this out of the way. And we're going to get started on layering this lovely, lovely meal. Anybody want to join and tell about your first day of school? It's okay. Madison, Shandon. Don't feel ashamed. I cried. I don't know nobody. She never... shed a tear. <laughs> but it's okay. Ever seen... it's okay. I don't think anybody ever seen me cry before. Besides Shandon and Madison. So now that cheese sauce is done. What I want to do is add a little mozzarella in there. And it's still hot. It's like piping, piping, piping hot. Like I can't even taste that. That's how hot it is. So it's going to melt. Oh, what? This looks so good. Oh my goodness. Don't it just look like? Alicia said that's what's so cool. I've never heard of it, but it sounds good. And it is. Very, very, very good. But you know, I'll let my, my critiques be the judge of that. And they're going to keep it real with me. If it's nasty, they're going to tell me. They're going to frown up in the camera and everything. they real cutthroat. You got to have some tough skin to be in this family. <laughs> so. <laughs> So first we're going to do this first layer of meat, which the first layer, you never really want your first layer to be too much because that's the bottom layer. And this is really the platform of the whole entire thing. And if the platform is too full, then these tortillas are going to break, wear, and tear. And when you cut into it, it is not going to be nothing pretty. I mean, 
Nothing but Madison. She said today was kind of funny. I'll tell you all about it later. And How about you just join and tell me all about it? That'll make life way greater. She said, and Ma said, hey. Tell her I said, hey, hey, Ma. Miss Town said first day of school was awesome. That's great. Oh, Miss Town, I'm gonna miss being here. Class, being here, class was so fun. Let's add this cheese sauce on here. Ooh, it's so stringy. It's gone. Pull through for the stringiness. Whew, girl. So, like I said, you never want your platform to be too much. I mean, really, I'm telling you the truth here. I'm like I said, I've learned from experience. As a cook, you make several mistakes. And you get them, and you learn from them. So now you can start making your layers a lot, a lot more thicker now. But that first layer, who these tortilla things look like blankets? <laughs> so add that again. And the bake time for this, so everything can just really kind of stick together and hold together. The bake time for this, I want to say, would be about five to ten minutes it'll probably it'll normally take you about 10 to 15 but because like i said i had everything i have had everything preheated and pre-seasoned i have everything already ready so it's only going to take about five minutes in the oven so that'll make time go by a lot faster and a lot smoother so add your cheese again there Somebody said, I'm new to your page, so I have a few questions. How old are you, and what are your long-term plans with being a young cook? Because I support this 100%. Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate that. And I am fi I am only 15 years old, and I am a freshman that attends Carver High School. And my plans with this, I really want to take this to the top. Cooking is something that I absolutely love. Like, I'm so glad that I was blessed with the gift to cook because this is something I truly love. I could do it. <laughs> we didn't ask you to tell a lot about my eating habits. But um, this is something I could do all day, every day. I could cook for people. My plan is to, you know, of course, like I said, I don't know if I told you guys, but I want to be a neonatal pediatrician. And I'm, if you wonder what that is, that's, she's like, it's a nurse. She works with newborns up to the age of two years old and you know she takes care of them she loves them and me a person that loves babies I could really see myself doing that and I also want to be well I am an entrepreneur but I want to own my own restaurant well let me say that take that back I will own my own restaurant let me go ahead and speak that into existence <laughs> so I will own my own restaurant so that's my that's really my plan to go I really want to take this cooking thing it's far as I possibly can. If I can take it to the next level, then that's, hey, that's what we're doing. You guys watch out because I'm telling you, I'm going to be on Ellen and I'm going to be on Steve Harvey. Y'all ain't going to see it coming. So now this right here is the last layer. And this is where you can go crazy. So, we're going to dump the rest of this cheese on top of here. We're going to dump the rest of this cheese off on top of here. And we're going to put this in the oven and let it cook. For about five minutes, just so everything, just so everything can really bake together. I got a feeling it's about to taste. Oh, let me off the truck. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Let me hear you though. School's in the morning. I never thought I'd say those words. Someone also said, "I've actually met a chef who is star on." On Chopped, he's the chef for the company Holler and Dash. You should definitely look into a career that there it's all hands on and everything is made from scratch. They love you. Wow, do you have a way that I could get like get in contact with them or try to reach out to them? Because I would really ask anybody if they would let me, if they would let me, I would watch Food Network all day long. I love watching it. I even you be I even be fussing at the people on the show, and it's like it's it's crazy because like I really be yelling at them, and I be like, "That's stupid. Why would you do that? Why would you do this? Why would you do that?" And you know, you just have to think sometimes. Like you would be under you pressure right too to if you weren't here. Oh. Yes. What was the question? He said, "This is my first time hearing about this, and I just joined. So, how do you make your cheese? And do you use ground beef?" 
Yes, I do use ground beef, but I know a lot of people prefer a healthier type of meat, like ground turkey, ground chicken. You could really, honestly, with tacos, you could use anything. Anything is usable. It's just about you and you willing to take it to the next level. And look at you licking the pan. And um, it's about you taking it to the next level and doing whatever you want with it. And what else did he ask me? Did he ask how I make my cheese sauce? Yeah. So normally when I make my cheese sauce, I I use milk. But it's like when I, this particular time, I decided to make a little twist on it and do something a little different. So I really didn't, um, I really didn't do what I normally do. But most of the time, the full recipe for it is I use cheese. It's really whatever cheese you choose to use, but I decided to use the Fiesta blend cheese. You can use practically any cheese you would like. Milk or heavy whipping cream, butter, seasonings to your taste. And that's it. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. And honestly, I never looked up how to make cheese sauce. Like, this just came off the top of my head. Like, I was just thinking, okay, I need cheese sauce. Karen really said she will send Auntie D some email and for info. For the Steve Harvey show. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Because if I go on the Steve Harvey show, you guys know I'm going to get on there and perform. Because <laughs> Steve Harvey is hilarious. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So now is that cook set in the stove for about five minutes. Like I said, I'm going to begin the cleanup process because I have to really get down pack cleaning up as I go. And as you can see today, we kept it very simple. Couple dishes, because don't nobody want to wash dishes. So we kept it very simple. Couple dishes, couple ingredients. Like I said, this is just a very quick meal for me to prepare for us today, considering the fact that, you know, school is tomorrow and everybody had things had to do homework. So if you're looking for some, some quick meals, I can give you about 45. Because we're always on a tight schedule and we just always have to, you know, you still gotta eat dinner. You still gotta eat dinner, guys. I'm so sorry. I made this. I made some pork chop and salad last night. It was so good. I forgot to post a picture simply because I was smashing. I was smashing. I know you probably like, why she make pork chop and salad? That is not healthy. Well, listen. I had a piece of unhealthy and a piece of healthy. That's how you work that thing. So <laughs> it was good. That's probably why I'm fat now because I just can't eat one healthy thing. Everything I eat is unhealthy. But it's okay though. It's okay though. That's why they have a gym that I never attend. You know? <laughs> or healthy foods that I rarely eat. But it's fine. We're not talking about it. We're not judging. Really? So if you guys have any more questions, any other things you would like to ask me. X away. Like I said again, I want you guys to share this video. Let's get to 100 views and 100 shares. Make sure when you share this video, you tag us at Amira's Hot Spot hashtag, hashtag Amira's Hotties. Also, you guys, I also want to promote the T-shirt again. I want you, if you haven't purchased your shirt, I want you to go ahead and purchase your shirt. Get your Pretty Girls Cook Two shirt. I'll make sure I drop the link down below in the comments. Maybe if you could do that for me, could you pin the comment? So we're going to drop the comment down below so you can go ahead and go purchase your Pretty Girls to Cook 2 shirt. And guys, you guys been blowing my phone up and I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. We have some new shirts coming soon. We have a bunch of new merchandise that will be arriving very, very soon for you guys to go in there and purchase. And guys, I promise you, I promise you, if I have to model that new shirt myself, I will. So I can get you guys your shirt. Because you keep asking me, what a shirt for the boys? What a shirt for the guys? What a shirt for the guys? So I'm going to have some shirts for you guys coming soon. It's all in the making. Also, 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 what did I want to say? It was just on the tip of my tongue. Mm. That's crazy. <laughs> my memory is terrible to be my age. It's, 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 it's terrible. But yeah, like I said, if you guys have any questions, just comment down below. How long that, um, that's been one annoying thing about you. That's been in the that's oven. Not long at all. Not you just minutes. put it in there, Mira. So, um, I know you guys probably wondering so much more stuff about me. So, if you want to ask me anything, I mean anything, you can ask me anything. I also want to tell you guys about, like, just gonna introduce myself fully to you guys. I wanna um introduce myself. 
I want to introduce myself fully to you guys. So yeah, like I said, my name is Amira. I'm 15 years old. I'm a freshman in high school. I attend Carver High School. And um, I, I started cooking in like the third grade. That's when I really found out that I really wanted to cook. I mean, I've always been a person that loved cooking. I've always loved watching cooking shows. Like cooking has just been something that I always enjoy doing. But I never really put forth the effort to really expand my cooking until it was time for me to learn how to cook so when i you really looking a spoon so um when i finally decided you know let's let's start cooking and i remember like i told you guys before i remember my dad always used to tell me i used to just dabble he'd be like sasa you're not cooking you just dabbling you just dabbling can you dress the meal up as if it was a taco salad. Yes, you can. Honestly, with this, you could do absolutely anything you want. It's really, it's really a dish that fits you and your personality and your taste. So it's you know, it's really what you want. Like if you want to add avocados, pecans, pineapples, hot sauce, that. paprika, whatever you want to add on that thing, you put it on that thing. It's it's really a like a I don't want to say like a personal that's more so say a personal what? dish. It's a what? Preference. Preference. Preference, yeah. It's everything, you know. You can dress it up however you want to. Um, I might do it again, and I might, you know, do something. I might spice it up a little bit more. I might do something totally different. But, you know, I really do want you guys to come in some other stuff that you might want to see me cook. Again, I also want to let you guys know about this new segment that I have coming up, which is called Mystery Dish. And like I said a little bit earlier on Mystery Dish, I will post three main ingredients. And you will have to, if you want to, you know, guess what the mystery dish is, you can shoot me an email at amiraishotspot at gmail.com. And, and win a prize. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, I ain't gonna know what the prize is, you know. That's why you're entering. But yeah, you never know what you could win if you tune in. So make sure you guys tune in. Thank you, thank you. I've been working on that, you know. I've been working on that. Anyway, like I was saying, you know, that's going to start up very, very soon. And I'm not going to have a set time that or a set date that I do this. It's going to be a mystery. So you're going to be wondering, you know. It's going to be a mystery. But just make sure you guys tune in again. And I also want to thank you guys so, so much for all your support, for all you guys. Huh? Yes, does anybody have their own business? Get that free t-shirt <laughs> so if anybody has their own business talent. huh talent. if anybody has their own business own talents anything just comment really you guys we can have a talent show on this cooking show let's do two things so if you know how to cook i mean not i'm sorry well if you are cooking and you want to let me see you then i would love to see you it's great to learn new things if you know how to sing dance if you just want to get on here and talk to me that's all perfectly fine that's all perfectly fine you guys can request to join just comment down below if you want me to add you and i will happily add you on here so let me take a look in this oven real quick. Make sure to see what Okay, so everything is, is cooking together. The cheese is spreading. This is it's gonna be this is gonna be something great. So about that, I wanna give it about a um have we been that five? Have we reached five minutes yet? Yeah. It's been five minutes? Yeah, now it has. Wow. Where does the time go? I know time don't fly back, um, fly by past in school. I feel like we've been in school for more than eight hours. I mean, I was stressing getting out at three o'clock. Now I don't get out at three forty, and my class is an hour and twenty minutes long. Like this is, this is like too much. Like I thought people were joking when they said high school was boring, but I mean it all depends on you. You have to make it fun. You have to, you have to make it fun. So. But that, like, that transition there is just, it's something. But, I mean, now I can sleep just a smidget bit longer, which is great. Which is, which is absolutely great. I really I love that. But, yeah, you guys, I don't want to bore you guys too much. 
but this is the this might be the only time that I have a dish like this where I could really really just sit here and chat with you guys and tell you guys something about myself but like I said you guys can ask me questions y'all tell me some things about y'all like you know how old are how how old are my people on here some of my people on here like I said I'm 15 hey Mimi thank you for joining Thank you so much, cameraman. I love you. What would I do without you? But yeah, like, if you guys tell me some stuff about y'all, y'all can ask some stuff about me. We're on here to talk about some of the hottest topics. Oh, one thing I did want to address, because everybody know I'm a Bron Bron fan. So, don't get on here bashing my boy. But, y'all yeah, know. Right now, he's the GOAT for opening up that school. I don't see none of y'all favorite players doing nothing like that, you know. <laughs> Just want to throw that out there. And he done went over to the Lakers to have them because they ain't made it to the playoffs. And who knows? Don't do that. Don't who do that. knows? They ain't been to the playoffs in years. Don't do that. <laughs> they haven't been out to the playoffs in years. So thank you for going over there and helping them, you know, because yeah. they just. Kobe paved the way. Sit down. Kobe paved the way. That was it? Kobe paved Since he left. That gold and purple ain't been looking too good. Even Lonzo couldn't help them do nothing. I mean, my, 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 my. They just, oh, it's just off. I just be looking at the TV and I just be like. <laughs> like, <laughs> they still let y'all play? Like, do they even win games? Really? Really? Do they even still win games? I mean, like, okay, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna like, like, do them dirty because I know the Cavaliers have had some bad moments. But gosh, at least we made it to the playoffs, though. I mean, he's he's gonna be a huge help. He's gonna be a huge help. I really think he's gonna do some miracles for that team. Y'all be in the playoffs this year, you know. You know, I'm not a team fan. I'm a Bron fan. Yes, football team is coming up, and I am. You said football team. I did say up. football team. I, football season is slowly approaching, and I'm totally ready for school football and for college football. And I am a huge Alabama fan. Who, who go roll tide go Alabama? Any Auburn fans on here? I just Bye. hope you guys are prepared to lose again, again, again. and again. And again, yes, and I am a Pittsburgh fan. I wouldn't be my father's child if I wasn't a Pittsburgh fan. He probably upset at me right now for talking about the legs, but you know what? It's okay <laughs> because my boy over there, he gonna help them now. He gonna come over there, fix it up, and do his thing. So now we about to take this food out the oven because I'm thinking about that too, Alicia. I don't know if I still want to be a Lakers fan anymore either. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be a Lakers fan either because that's don't do some. That. Don't do that. They got some awful stuff. On over there, like you never hear nothing good about them, girl. Whatever, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. So, I'm about to flip the camera back to my cameraman, take this food out the oven because Amir was ready to eat. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'll take this out here. Oh, it looks good. I probably should have. I'm thinking I probably should have saved some of my cheese to sneak on top. I think that's enough. I'm not supposed to be eating cheese anyway. You're not, you're not. But I'm not gonna put your business out there on a book like that. Ooh. So this is the end result of this wonderful taco bake. I'm about to cut into it and plate it up, and then we're gonna have our lovely critique. <laughs> Come and taste it. Roll Someone tide. said, "Girl, no roll tide is nothing." When when Cam Newton was with Auburn, roll tide. Ain't no what to do. We stay winning. That's past tense. Past tense. He not over there no more. <laughs> he not over there no more. Past tense. Past tense. We're moving on to the future. I'm ready. I'm right. ceramic. So I'll see. So it's kind of just how it's pretty warm. So aluminum doesn't. It gets. It gets um, warm as soon as it hits the air. Child is hot. Woo! <laughs> Excuse my brother. We never know what he doing, what he laughing at. But you know it's okay because we love him. Alright. That's the let me make sure this cut good. Cause if it break, I'm gonna be a salty something. Alright, so that's the first piece. Be careful with the food mirror. 
Oh, look at that cheese pour. Child, yes. Okay. Okay. Eben, are you going to be our taste tester for today? Are you going to be our critique for today? No. Oh, okay. Okay, I will. You want to taste it first? You know? Eben, <laughs> come, come taste it. This this could be yours. We're not going to bag him. <laughs> Me either. Flip the camera back to this, to this lovely face over Oh. <laughs> Are you about to taste? Are you about to be the critique? No, I'm gonna be on the camera. It's not, I didn't rotate. I didn't rotate. It's on me. It's on, it's on me. I promise. It's on me. Hey, Jacorian. Thank you, Sierra. Hey, Miranda. Come on, Mimi. The people waiting for you to taste the food. Oh, thank you. It's on red camera. No, I'm doing that. Why didn't come taste it, Sonny? I can't break it. I'm gonna be Auntie D today. <laughs> Wait, so don't I forget gotta, to put your hand under your lip and do the whole little. I, I, I gotta, I gotta cut it, guys. I gotta. Yeah. <laughs> this is here live on Amira's Hot Spot every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Make sure you tune in. Hey, Princess Nana. I can't pick it up. I can't pick it up. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Lanisha. Come on, I can't pick it up. Come on. Wait, wait, put your hand under your chin. Put your hand under your chin. <laughs> pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. How does that taste? That's good. Mm, it's good. Great to know. So, to conclude. I'm about to get my plate in a minute. Let me finish this real quick. So, to, to conclude today's episode. Today we made a taco bake. And it came out pretty good. Judging from Mimi's taste because she haven't said anything else. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching today. Make sure you guys like and share this video. Also, like I said, I want to mention a few other things about the business. If you have a business and you're or talents or anything, you're between the ages of 12 and 17 and you want to be featured on my show to promote that, then just shoot us an email at amiraishotspot at gmail.com, which it is commented down below. It's pinned down below. Also... Don't forget to purchase your t-shirts too. The comment, I meant the link to the website is also down below. Everything you need is down below. Lastly, again, I want to say thank you guys for joining. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And we'll see you guys next Wednesday because Mira got to go eat. Bye, guys. And if you